Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you uh, once again uh, with the third video in the series of videos that I'm going to do uh, while flying from Karachi to Dubai. If you haven't watched the first two parts then uh, and if you're new to the flight simulation it's better to watch the first two videos in which I've covered the flight planning and in the second video I've covered uh, starting the plane from the cold and dark state and then doing the uh, pushback in the taxi. So now here we are short of runway 25 left from where we're going to take off from Dubai. Let's turn this map off and uh, let's uh, tune into uh, 118.3. We are already tuned into 118.3 and let's get the request takeoff clearance. IFR from Karachi Tower. Karachi Tower, Airbus Alpha, Sierra X-ray 320, ready for IFR departure, runway 25 left. Airbus Alpha, Sierra X-ray 320, cleared for takeoff, runway 25 left. Acknowledge takeoff clearance. Thank you very much. Now, I will move on to this point and uh, manage radio comms. No, we'll manage all ourselves. Don't worry about that. At times, I get this uh, squawk code error. This thing is happening. I don't know why in the MSFS 2020. They have an issue. But let's just uh, give the throttles. Uh, just one basic point. While taking off, uh, we will uh, keep the throttle at this level, at this point. And after the takeoff, we will move the... Uh, the, the throttle to this point just the basics uh, to the cruise throttle cruise speed throttle and this will be after 1500 feet once we are off the ground with the positive rate and uh, of climb we will retract the gears the flaps are extended to one position uh, going very slow being very careful <laughs> let's uh, increase the throttle a bit before I take off I just want to give you a few basic uh, uh, things and just to help you with the with a good flight okay let's stop here and before we take off I'll just uh, give you a few things okay now we have checked the flaps are in position one flaps are position one we need flats for flaps for for the additional lift uh, once taking off uh, we will uh, set the throttle to this uh, this level you can see the air over here that's the best thing about Airbus A320 that you see these in markers on the thrust lever and uh, once uh, we take off after 1500 feet roughly we will reduce uh, the speed to climb thrust it is required because you cannot uh, fly the, uh, the complete flight with uh, with full throttle because it will damage the engines heat up the engines and you will be burning more fuel so it's not advisable at all Second point, uh, we will be climbing to 14,000 uh, feet and uh, the speed, I have not said the speed, I will go for the managed speed. And now, uh, just uh, one or two basic things, uh, when you see this uh, dot, it means that, um, when you see these dots, it means that uh, uh, whatever the headings and the speed are over here, in the flight plan in the MCDU that is the multi-purpose control and display unit the plane will fly according to that for the altitude I will set it manually if you can see we have two options engage selected altitude mode and engage managed altitude mode so what is the difference between the selected altitude mode and the managed altitude mode selected means whatever you have just entered over here if you press uh, the the down button I think it's like pushing in the button. I'm not really sure how it really works in the real cockpit, but I think it's like pushing uh, this button. So it means the plane will fly at 14,000 feet. But if you push the engaged, uh, managed altitude, then whatever the information is here, uh, the plane will try to fly accordingly. I've been trying to find out uh, a way how to do it, but I think it's not working. But for the speed, it works very well. So if I set the speed, let's say to 230, which is uh, the speed the plane should be below 10,000 feet, 230 knots. And if I press this one, you can see this dot disappearing. It means 
Once I turn the autopilot, this option, the plane will fly at 230 knots. But if I press this one, then in the speed disappears and the dot comes, which means that whatever uh, the speed is as per the MCDU, the plane will fly according to that. So let's first of all set the speed to 230. We will s do it manually. Selected speed and then um, we will move to this option, the managed one, just to tell you for this video. So autopilot. And then uh, once we turn on the autopilot, we have to also enable the auto throttle. Then the plane will automatically um, increase and decrease the throttle accordingly. Okay, so these are the basics. Uh, we don't need to do anything over here, so let's uh, take off. And I'll keep an eye on the thrust lever. So this level, one click, second click. Okay. Don't go all the way forward, it enables toga, and I think plane starts behaving in a very, very odd manner. It's like, like keeps on increasing and decreasing the power. So let's keep it here. V1 is the position where we cannot go back and we rotate afterwards. So here we go. You can see let's take off. Nice and smooth takeoff. We have to just see the positive rate of climb. If the plane is climbing positively, then we will track the gears. Now altitude is like 15. Let's just reduce the throttle okay now we're hearing this error because we have got our flaps so let's uh, oops <laughs> I extended the flaps my god <laughs> I don't know it happens sorry for that I'm prone to errors so let's turn on the autopilot and now the plane will uh, start to climb to 14,000 feet we'll, we'll press this button engage a selected altitude mode so the plane will start to climb to to this altitude and uh, s engage selected airspeed so the speed will be at 230 yes now let's move on to the communication acknowledge handoff contact center Okay, so now altimeter over here is 2966. Let's reduce this. If you, when when I'm when I'm actually moving this, I'll tell you uh, the basic behind it. You have to do this uh, because uh, the barometric pressure is different, and the plane um, calculates the altitude on the basis of the barometric pressure. So over here, you can see this Q and Q and H option uh, turned on to 900.66. So it means that our altimeter is aligned with the barometric pressure. It's giving us the right reading. If your barometric pressure is not right, uh, the plane will not give you a proper alti uh, altitude um, indication. So let's say uh, your altimeter is showing you at 14,000 feet, but actually you must you should would be at uh, maybe 12,000 or like 15,000 depending upon the barometric pressure. So you have to adjust that. We are in the nav mode. Why the plane is not turning? Autopilot is on. It should turn. Let's wait. Oh, finally. <laughs> okay, so everything is looking good so far. We have covered the basics. Uh, we are at uh, the climb. Uh, let's move it a little bit. So here we are. Uh, now let's move on to the screen. So over here, when you have once you see nav, it means that we have selected this option: engage managed heading mode. So now the plane is uh, flying according to the information entered over here. But if I press this one, uh, the 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 down button, then whatever the heading we will give it to, to this to the autopilot over here, the autopilot will fly according to that heading. Now the speed, you can see. is increasing hmm 
now the thrust has reduced so the thrust is at the climb altitude star means that the plane is now trying to stabilize at 14,000 feet let's uh, select this option engage manage speed mode now the speed will be managed accordingly because we are now above 10,000 feet we can go to 320 knots that's why I've engaged this one and you can see the plane has started to increase the speed Let's check the communication request vector to next point. Everything is looking good. So we we are we not having an issue. Two zero zero, which two zero zero means twenty thousand. And press this button. Now the plane will start to climb to twenty thousand instead of fourteen thousand. So far, everything is looking good. Now we are following the flight path to Dubai. Oh. <laughs> yes, I heard, but I did not acknowledge. Thank you. Climb and maintain flight level two zero zero. Two zero zero. Okay, tower. Thank you, tower. Actually, we are doing some videos on tutorials, so don't mind for that. Okay. This guy, the tower, is like a very strict guy. Okay. Uh, so flaps up. Uh, let's turn off the lights. We don't need the lights. We nose light to taxi. No, we have to turn it off. To off. Set nose light to off. Turn off uh, right landing lights. Turn off these lights. Turn on runway lights. Anyhow. Strobe. Let's keep it there. Beacon. Let's keep it there. Mm, turn off wing eyes lights. And turn off nav and logo lights. Just keep the nav and logo lights over there. So everything is looking good. The plane is climbing to 20,000 feet. And uh, let's say hit this button, constraints. Turn on constraints. So once you turn on the constraints, it will start displaying you the altitude you should be at different uh, points. Somehow, I think I've been trying to figure it out in Microsoft Flight Simulator. But uh, the plane does not follow this. I don't know. It should it should do that, but uh, maybe this uh, function is not properly available because right now, if you if you press this option, engage manage altitude mode. Two eight zero. So now you will climb to two eight zero. Then again, press this engage selected altitude mode, and you can see now, OP climb. So the plane is now climbing to twenty eight thousand feet. The speed is at three hundred twenty knots. The thrust is at the climb thrust okay sorry for the late acknowledgement as I was now when you uh, see this arrow it means the plane is climbing and uh, by this point it will be at 28,000 feet so this is a very good indicator so you have to you know keep an eye on this one so this arrow with this color, 28,000. You can see the, the color matches over here, 28,000 feet. So it means by this point, you will be at 28,000. Speed is automatically controlled by the plane. So we, we don't have to worry about that. And that's how you fly the plane on um, the autopilot. That's the best feature about A320. Different from the Boeing, obviously, because there are two different manufacturers, uh, but still easy to learn and to understand. For us, the constraints uh, will be very useful once uh, we are approaching Dubai. Then you will know at what uh, point you, uh, what altitude you should be at. So this will really help you the constraints. Okay. Nice, beautiful view of Pakistan. This is this is all Pakistan, and uh, you're heading towards Dubai. Let's bring up the map and let's see where we are right now. So after this uh, waypoint, we will turn left and then continue our flight towards Dubai.
Now uh, we are approaching 28,000 feet. The plane will now try to stabilize. All star. It means it's stabilizing the altitude at the given altitude. Three six zero. So further climb. Select the engage altitude mode. Engage. Sorry. Engage selected altitude mode. <laughs> now you can see the arrow has uh, moved a bit far because uh, we are we are further climbing. Yes, I did. Knowledge instructions. Okay, everything is looking good. After 30,000 feet, the flight, uh, the speed will change to Mach. No, I, th I think it's already coming as a Mach. 0 0.770 Mach. Above uh, 30,000 feet, uh, the speed changes to uh, Mach instead of knots. And it will just keep on adjusting accordingly. Now you can see, I, I think it will happen now after 30,000 feet. The speed will reduce. Because at uh, higher altitudes, the, this, uh, the air is thin. So the speed reduces. So you can see by this point, we should be at 36,000 feet, if I am not wrong. Yes, we are approaching this point by this point. You can now see the speed is reducing as we have climbed above 30,000 feet. So the speed is reducing. So that's the best part about uh, using the mock speed. So every time when you are above 30,000 feet, you should uh, change your speed to mock and then adjust it accordingly. If you see this red uh, dotted line, it means this is a speed level. You cannot go above the speed level. 31,000 feet. Everything is good so far. Initially, uh, while the, in the in the weather it was showing cloudy and uh, and rainy, I don't know why. The, we we didn't even check the weather. We d did we tune into ATIs? Do we have an option? No. Request cruising altitude increase and decrease. No. I think it's also sunny in the way. There are no chances of rain in the way. Maybe. Or maybe there are clouds. Let, let's see once uh, we approach Dubai. Okay. So this is the point. We should be at 36,000 feet over here. I try to keep my videos very simple. Um, easy for, for everybody because uh, obviously those, uh, those people who are expert in flying, they would not watch my video obviously because this is very basic uh, flying. Actually, it is for all the people who are actually beginning um, their flight simulation um, enthusiasm, <laughs> and uh, they are they are they're beginning to learn. Uh, so uh, these videos are actually focused for 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 everybody uh, who is uh, not new to the fly uh, who who are actually new to the flying simulators and want to learn how to uh, fly these planes and to have uh, maximum fun out of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we are going to uh, go at uh, 380 and then press this button again. Remember, every time we change the altitude, you have to press this button. Otherwise, your plane will not climb. climb. Okay, so I think 380 is the last altitude. So again, the plane, plane is climbing. You can see this option over here. So I was telling you, I try to keep my videos very basic for the people who are actually new to the flight simulation and want to learn how to... Uh, fly the planes and uh, get the maximum fun out of the flight simulators. So that's why I try to keep it very easy and simple and not so serious. But obviously try to incorporate all the basic information which is required um, uh, to fly the plane. Engine 1 and the, and the power on the engine 1, the power on the engine 2. This is the fuel. Uh, the altitude. This one. <laughs> this is the speed. So altitude, you can uh, speed. You can see it's reducing because um, the plane is not flying at Mach, and uh, it will keep on adjusting its speed above thirty thousand feet. So always keep your speed at Mach when once you're above uh, the thirty thousand Mach, and uh, remember remember not to exceed this point. Otherwise, you will be overspeeding. 
now the plane is climbing and soon you will see alt star which means the plane is going to stabilize at the given altitude and now some reduction in the thrust and uh, now 38,000 is coming this mark now you can see this arrow we are very close to this arrow so it means by this point we should be at 38,000 feet and now we're going to cross this point and here we are are we going to cross this one yes we have crossed it now and we are at 30,000 feet anything pending with the tower I don't want to piss off this guy anymore <laughs> he's very serious by the way okay so that's it thank you very much for staying with me I hope you have, uh, would have learned a lot from this video uh, just try to keep it simple plain and simple once try to find uh, the plane on, 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 the, on the simple tactics and then you can learn the advanced techniques obviously every day there's a new day and you can learn new things uh, but this video uh, is, is kind of very simple takes you through the basics uh, how to take off the plane how to fly it on autopilot and how to uh, follow the flight path I think um, uh, th there is some time left in uh, reaching Dubai so once we are at Dubai <laughs> I will start this video again otherwise thank you very much for staying with me do watch the, the last part uh, the fourth part which will cover uh, the eyeless approach and the landing. And uh, don't forget to comment and don't forget to ask a question if you have in the comment section and I will be really obliged to answer you that. I'm 300 feet. It means, you see. Okay, so this issue is coming because I haven't set my ultimate, uh, let's see, barometric pressure. Where is, did they give me any barometric pressure? ultimate 29.66 so I'm at 29.66 okay so we got this error that I'm uh, 300 feet above the altitude so it means that I had to um, turn this option into standard and uh, this barometric pressure is applicable at the uh, transition altitude uh, which is uh, for different for different countries I'm not really sure about Pakistan uh, but somehow if you get this error uh, just uh, try uh, to convert it into standard because we are now above uh, the transition altitude and uh, over here the standard barometric pressure applies so that's why now we are adjusted at 38,000 feet uh, so it's at standard uh, thank you very much for staying with me and uh, hopefully um, I'll make more videos for you uh, over this weekend and we'll try to come up with new videos thank you very much for staying with me once again if you have any questions do let me know and uh, I will be really obliged to answer your questions and if you have any suggestions also let me know and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much once again for staying with me.